All right, everybody, welcome to the Apple Ninja. This week, we're going to do a Mac prank. I used to do all sorts of pranks back in the day. I haven't done them so much anymore, so I'm really excited to kind of show you one. Uh, what it is, is this folder that says Secret Files. It looks harmless and innocent, but it makes you want to click on it. You're like, Secret Files? What the heck is that? So I double click on it, and you, what the heck? Stealing my files? Uploading a remote hacking server. What the heck? Yeah, man, that's what you want to do. You just trick people. It's just an application, so I can actually quit out of it. But I'm going to show you how to set this up. It's fun to do these pranks. Let's dig in. If you're new to the channel, we geek out on everything Apple. So get subscribed and make sure to hit that alert icon so you get the latest content. All right, so just to let you know, the files are going to be down in the description. Wait until after you see how I put this all together because you're just going to need the files after. You're going to want to wait. So, all right, the first thing is we need to open up a terminal because I want to go through this script with you and show you exactly what it's going to do. <clears throat> so this script is going to basically provide the dialogue utilizing this application called Coco Dialog, right? It is in beta form, but that was the form, uh, that was the version that actually had 64-bit, which is why I'm running it on Catalina right now, and which is why it works. There are some bugs with it, but hey man, I've been using the previous versions for a long time in the enterprise. This is awesome stuff. So let's take a look we need to open up the terminal so terminal and we are going to cat this file the script all right so this first line we're just defining where exactly that application is the coco dialogue application it's on my desktop and then we're going to create the pipe input for the progress bars and we're going to look at this line here and this percent is what's going to give me that progress bar. There are other options. I've got a link down in the description on how to find all the documentation around this. It's actually for an older version, but it all still seems to work. Um, the title is left blank. It says progress. Uh, I can't seem to get it to display anything other than progress so I just leave it blank but it does have to actually be in there I did test that and then this is where you just put the information that you want stealing information <clears throat> dollar sign user is the user that's logged into the device right now so it's grabbing the user and then I'm telling it which icon I want to use and I'm actually pointing it to the home folder to make it feel kind of more real. Uh, there are some default options that you can use with this. Just go look at the documentation. It'll tell you which ones you can use. And then you're basically looking at this section down here. This is what's going to determine how fast this runs. So I can make that progress bar go slow or I can make it go super fast. So if I wanted to go super fast, I would change this sleep one to a 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, uh, just so that it goes faster. And then it basically just closes out and goes away. So this is the script that we're gonna take and we're gonna throw this into an automator application. To open up automator, Go up to file and click on new. And we're gonna click, double click application. And then over here, we're gonna type in script, run shell script, double click that. Right here, we're gonna change this to bin sh. And we're gonna come back over to this window. So when, after you download that file, I'm gonna come back over here and you're just gonna copy this out of here. Copy. Come over here. Paste it in there. Click run to see how it loads. Oh, 
I don't really like that. I want it to go faster. Remember I said change that. Let's do 0.2. Ah, that's a little more nerve wracking. All right. So we're good with the code there. This is also where I could come up and I could change anything that I want. I could change it to anything, um, the, the text. So now we want to make an application out of this. So we're going to go up to File, Export. I do not have my code signing on this device right now, so I can't code sign. So I will just leave that blank and I'm going to name it secret files two and i'm going to save it on my desktop hide this hide this and you're going to see this secret files two i'm going to do a command i want to change the icon of the folder or of the application i should say so i'm going to do a command i on that and I want it to be just like a folder so I'm going to do a command I on this item here. I'm going to click on that file right there or that little icon. I'm going to command C copy it. Come over here click on the little automator icon do a command V to paste over that and boom now I've got my application to scare somebody. All right, hopefully you liked that video and you gave it a big thumbs up. And honestly, if you've got a project you're working on where you're trying to prank somebody and you're kind of stuck on a piece, throw it in the comments, man. We will all work on that sucker together. I love getting little projects like that. So when we can do something, man, let's bust it out. You guys have an amazing week. Take care. See you next week.